Dog Gadgets. Live. Live. Happy, was it Wednesday? Well, it's Wednesday, Wednesday still. Happy Wednesday. Uh, yeah. As always, I'm Josh from browndoggadgets.com, here to show you yet another fun project. And I'm here, as always, with Pete. Hello. Pete's up. There you go. Over Pete. there. Pete's here. He's not, like, in some <laughs> weird, like other room he, he's actually over here it's my hand making sure everything's running well on the uh, on, on the computer try my best but, uh, today we're going to be doing something very fun and exciting we're making our very own paper Roomba Ooh. yes indeed it's a paper craft Roomba that anybody can make and own for a much cheaper price than the real thing that's right thanks to people at the was it iRobot I think is the name of the company yeah yeah, yeah. Uh, they make a fun paper Roomba uh, a real Roomba <laughs> <laughs> we're making a paper version it's a fun paper craft project Using a vibrating motor and a battery and some maker tape. They make a version that will suck up tiny bits of paper from your floor. True, which you might have after you make this. Little yeah, that's true, paper. yeah. Uh, but we're going to try to make that today. And actually, before we uh, get going, we should probably show them what it looks like when it's done. So let's roll oh, that sure. video footage. Bam. Roomba that we have in, in our hand, but just on our office table. Um, bumping it into things. This little vibrobot. We put a blinking LED on there to give it some extra pizzazz. Um, but that's that's it. It's yeah. a fun thing. It makes a nice like buzzing sound yeah. and blinking. So paper Roomba. So let's show you how to make this wonderful and easy fun paper craft for the All whole thing. Right. So We're overhead show camera you overhead. view. So sweet. There we go. All right. We're good. All right. <laughs> Cameras. Probably check those before we film. Uh, so here's our setup. It's a free template off of our website, browndoggadgets.com. Ta-da! Uh, we have this template on our website. You can just print off on an 8.5 by 11 sheet of paper, uh, or you can do your own design or whatnot. We just have a nice little little print on here. I think we have more than one version on the website, too. One that's just a blank, and then mm -hmm. one that actually has some some shading on it. Yeah because some of us are lazy when it comes to uh, comes to printing. Mm -hmm. You're also going to need a blinking LED if you want to go the LED route. You don't need one. We just like to have a, a blinking red LED for pizzazz. And we have a couple of them here for some weird reason. Uh, and you need a self-sticking motor. We have these really great little black self-sticking motor, browndoggadgets.com. A sticky side on one side, these long wires with lots of extra exposed wire on the end, and they just stick to paper craft projects or, mm -hmm. or anything. People, places, things. Really, nouns. They stick to nouns. Um, people, places, things. Yes. Also, I think ideas also. I think They stick to ideas. Yeah. I was a science teacher and an English teacher. They stick to their values. Oh, they do. Oh, they're <laughs> consistent. But these are great. They're little, uh, little motors. They run off three volts of power. They're perfect for a lot of paper craft and a lot of makery projects in general. Mm -hmm. They're pretty inexpensive. You can find lots of these versions all over the place uh, from a lot of different suppliers, not just us. But we tweak ours a bit with um, some little tweaks to the wires on the end that make it much easier to use paper crafts with yeah uh, you also need a wonderful cr2032 battery three volts of power and you're gonna need some of our fun and cool Ooh, maker tape this is our nylon tape. conductive tape uh, it's super strong super sturdy brown dog gadgets.com <laughs> a nice 20 meter roll of it here uh which is 60 some feet 65 ish feet uh metric makes life easier but this stuff is great. It's nice and strong. And we actually need it for the design. Uh, copper foil won't cut it for this. No. Uh, it's too weak. And we actually have a fun and interesting on and off switch. We make our own pull tab, which you insert, and it vibrates <clears throat> as an easy on and off. Nice. There we go. What, this, Josh, what if you lose the pull tab? What, what well, could you do? Well, you could just make another one because our pull tab one. is just a piece of paper folded over on itself. Yeah. With some maker tape on there to complete the circuit. You've probably got 19.75 meters left even after making this project. You don't need a lot to make this. There's very right. little maker tape involved. It's yeah. for this and also the fact our maker tape is conductive on top and bottom. Mm -hmm. uh, so we run just over the battery here. So the battery is always connected, but the circuit itself isn't finished. And we also run our uh, tape over our wires and our mm -hmm. LED legs for this. Now... When you make this project, you're going to need a pair of scissors and either some tape or some glue. Um, either way works. We're going to stick with tape because we don't have time to wait for glue to dry. When we made this version, we actually used hot glue just to mm. be extra quick. But hot glue is not great for video, so we're not going that <laughs> route. Um, yay, hot glue gun. So uh, let's get to making this project. But once again, before I forget, uh, I'll say it again. Free template on our website. All these parts you can get on our website too, but this template is free. Mm -hmm. Whether or not you want to buy anything from us ever in the future, I think we're just lame guys. 
Um, <laughs> horrible dudes, but we have great <laughs> templates. Just download our template and use materials you have already. Other motors would probably work as well. Uh, just these self-sticking motors tend to work the best for this as the vibration mechanic is internal. Um, I don't think of any other motors. Most usually you either have the internal vibration or you have the barrel motors with the big floppy, yeah. like your standard bristle body type motor. Yeah. Those would end up hitting your paper crap. They just it's don't work good. well for, for this kind of thing. They're just really awkward to use. So anyway, let's get to making this project uh, with our day. Now, Pete, for instance, if say somebody yes. thought our stuff was cool and wanted to follow more of our stuff online... What would be some good places to find out for our projects and directions and guides? Well, for people who are social and maybe distant nowadays, but they still have a computer or phone or mobile device to the Internet, they could go on Facebook, YouTube, Twitter, Instagram. We're on all those things. We're sharing videos. We're sharing pictures, uh, cool projects we do, stuff we make, templates, all that jazz. And, yeah, even stuff that we're just kind of kicking around. Like, we yeah. made this thing. We're not going to write a guide for it because it just wasn't the best or yeah. didn't turn Pro out the way we hoped it would turn out. But Ideas, really examples, experiments, prototypes, whatever. If you see something really cool, let us know. Because yeah. um, sometimes we just play around with ideas. <laughs> and if people cool. really like them, we'll, we'll do something with them. Yep. And so, uh, yeah, let's let's build this All project right. and uh, move on with our day. Because uh, we got stuff to do, <laughs> clearly. Uh, so, anyway, you got your template. Template. Got your scissors. Scissors. And uh, you want to print off on a little bit heavier paper. Uh, mm -hmm. I mean, you don't have to go like heavy cardstock. I think we use like 50 or 60 weight uh, cardstock, which is like hundreds the thickest you can typically get. Because standard printer paper is what, 20 pounds? Yeah, just and, something a bit thicker than usual. And Josh, fun, fun trick. Oh. I use this. If you only have standard printer paper, you can always print it out and like glue it to another sheet, kind of double it up a little, you know, if you don't have cardstock or something there, it'll work. Pete, that's a good suggestion. Work in a pinch, yeah. It will. So you're going to take the scissors and you want to start cutting your paper like so until you go cut it off screen, cut, 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 <laughs> cut, cut. That's until, some good oh cut. Wow, gosh. good cut. Wow, that was that was really quick cutting. I, I did a lot of this. what I call a jump cut. Bada boom. Chip. All right, where's Ben Nelson? We need him. I imagine in a different city. <laughs> Uh, so anyway, yeah, template's done. Yay. Wow, that's uh, you some got great these... cutting on that. <laughs> I'm amazed. You, uh, this is why this isn't like a super easy project for younger kids, but yeah. it's more of a like middle school -y. somebody who's good with scissors. I know kids are their scissor skills vary from child yeah. to child pretty heavily. You could also use like an exacto knife if you're careful. And that's where the other thing is too. When it comes to our, <laughs> we've sorry, we've got a dog in a different room, and he's being a little quiet dog, a little unhappy uh, with us closing the door on him today. Uh, we have a little slit here for our um, our tab. Pulled the tab, yeah. Yeah, and uh, you might want to have an exacto knife or something to cut that it open, which work. I don't have one with me because yeah. uh, I wasn't thinking ahead. But we'll 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 get through this. You can use a razor blade or a kitchen knife, anything that'll kind of cut through paper and just kind of wedge it Poke apart. Poke through it, yeah. Yeah. Uh, you just need to have a slit there that's about a little bit bigger than the width of the maker tape you're mm -hmm. using. So first and foremost, you got to fold down these little tabs. We've got a bunch of them on here. We went kind of tab heavy on this project. Mm-hmm. Uh, this will help keep the shape of everything. Yeah, for a round uh, shape, yeah, you need a lot of tabs really to, to do it right. Indeed. And then you've got your, your fold here on the end. I like to use a straight edge on this. And then you adjust, come around, and put some tape wow. on the inside or some glue. And we have a little overlap here too. Josh, you ever drink a, one of those so tab soda? You ever have one of those? A tab? It's, it's been a put while. Put it on my tab, they used to say. Do you tab? Remember that? I don't even know you. <laughs> exactly. Uh, you got another wonderful brown dog yeah, just live stream <laughs> where we're making 1970s and 80s movie references for some weird reason. There you go. Um, Back to the Future reference. Exactly. We love you, Christopher Lloyd. Tab anyway, then you just great. tape it and glue it together. It's a pretty nice. standard way of making a three-dimensional craft, a paper craft, and you can trim if you need to. Mm -hmm. We just have a nice little overlap there. Anyway, I'm going to not glue that together too well because it's fairly obvious how that works. So let's get over on the back side and actually do the electronics on here because it's much more interesting as what we do. Mm -hmm. uh, yay. So we've got our LED. We've got our, our motor here. And I suggest uh, when doing this project, do your LED and motor first. Yeah. Put them, put them on and, uh, yeah, because you're just taping things with the top of them. So we've got our spot right here for our, our LED. And we just got two spots there. You just got to poke holes in with the legs. Which usually, well, you know, a safety pin also works really well. Which I had one over here before. We, I, we had one. We clearly uh, we, cleaned we cleaned up too cleaned well. Up. That's the problem. And now we can't find the scrap things, but I can mm. uh, if I if I do things right, I can poke through here with this. So number one complaint I get at teaching conferences with uh, 
with doing things in cardstock, teachers. Yeah. I can't poke poke things through. Well, a paperclip can work too. Paperclip, yeah. Yeah, we'll just kind of undo a paperclip. That works well. Fun reminder: uh, LEDs have a long leg, which is Ooh, positive, and a short right. leg, which is negative. Long leg is actually labeled on our direction right here. It is. Long leg here, short leg here. Um, if your LED doesn't turn on, flip your battery over and yep. try again. The motor doesn't care which polarity it has. It, it just, it'll it'll just, just spin the opposite direction. Yeah, In this case, matter. it doesn't matter. Uh, so, yeah, when in doubt, I always tell people, flip your battery over. It's usually easier than redoing your LED. So there we go. Just lay those down like so. Yay. Then we've got our motor, self-sticking motor. You know, I like to say, Josh, about flipping the bat. Flip it bad? No, flip it good. It's flip good. it good, you know. Flip it bad? No, flip it good. It's okay to flip it over. It'll just go the... No? <laughs> it's Wednesday. It's Wednesday. Wednesday, Wednesday, Wednesday. Um, hey, Pete, would you grab an X-Acto knife off Andy's desk? so I, can, I certainly will. I'm, like, I'm not going to be able to get this. So we're going to keep going on here. Bye, Pete. Uh, be nice to my dog. So uh, once this is, all these parts are down, we're just going to start adding our maker tape here. We're going to go from the middle of our battery over and around. Battery's going to sit on top. So I'm just going to eyeball out how much tape I need. Thanks, Pete. And we're just going to apply it down. And since our maker tape is con conductive on top and bottom, we're just going to put a little tape loop on the bottom of the battery, which will hold it down both physically and electronically. Oh. We're, we're chasing dogs out of this room left and right. They, they love us, but they don't, don't play well with wires or tape. or tape or retrieving things off the floor. So we're going to put this down here in the middle. Ta-da. And we're going to right angle turn with our tape. And if you don't want to right angle turn, that's cool too because you can just overlap two pieces of maker tape and you are, you are good to go on electronics front. Ta-da! Exacto knife. Only by official Exacto knife knives. Sponsored by Exacto knife. We're right. sponsored by a lot of like companies that have never heard of us. <laughs> I don't know if just because we buy their products we're sponsored. Well, I guess technically nice. we're sponsoring them. But anyway, yeah. so this is it. We literally have half of our wiring done. Uh, our, our conductive tape is on the top of our, our wire, one wire, and then our LED. Just if you want in doubt, press down a bit just to make sure the connection's nice and strong. The conductive adhesive is making a good connection. And I have this leftover tape here, which I'm going to nicely roll into a little tiny ball because I don't want to cut up even more. Now, now let me ask you, you've got uh, two uh, things you're powering there, a motor and an LED. Are, are those in series or parallel in the circuit? Why, Pete, that's a very Thank you. appropriate question. Uh -huh. They are in parallel. Oh, interesting. What, what does that mean exactly? Meaning, they are not perpendicular. <laughs> okay. Uh, meaning they're both, positives are all hooked up together, negatives are all hooked up together. Ah. Uh, then we just put this on top like so. Ta-da. Wow. And, yep, I got to overlap. This is halfway done. Ta-da. Cool. It's a pretty straightforward project. Uh, and this is the best part about uh, using the maker tape and other things like it. Mm -hmm. It's just simple to do. Yeah. And so we're going to then take our exacto knife and we're going to cut open this spot here very awkwardly <laughs> and you can do this a lot of different ways i think last time i i kind of cut it and then put the knife blade and kind of wiggled it around kind of widened it a little yeah i mean i yeah. I, I just kind of pick at it a little bit once i've got the, the two mm -hmm. slits and there you go it, as long as there's enough space in there that the tape can go through you're solid, um, and who cares what the underside looks like if you mar it up at all? No one's yeah. gonna see it. Uh, there you go, ta-da! So then we're gonna take some more maker tape and we're going to, two pieces, we're gonna go through the hole and wrap mm. around the side and up, and same on this side. So I'm just gonna cut a little piece a bit bigger than I'm gonna probably need just to be on the safe side. Even though maker tape is totally conductive on top and bottom, you can't overlap it. Mm -hmm. uh, it's easier not to. <laughs> I just, I find it just a little easier. There you go. So our maker tape is pretty rigid since it is a, a fabric tape. It's, mm -hmm. a, it's nylon, it's just conductive nylon. So uh, I kind of like to get a little, little uh, the backing off, uh, not all the way, but a bit, and then thread it on through. 
Uh, last time I did this, I, it wasn't going in good, so I actually stuck it to a, a paper clip and I fed it through and then oh. pulled the tape off. It's yeah, kind of a nice I don't think I made mine wide enough, quite enough there. Should have made my uh, my hole just a bit bigger. Uh, if you make I, the hole just a bit bigger yeah. than what you need, uh, I need to make mine just a little, a and little. You, uh, you can always longer. make your your tab a little thicker, just add a little more tape to it too. Yeah, and that's the thing. Like slots bigger. The the tab is easy to do. I just mm -hmm. need to make it a bit wider. Yeah. Uh, I should say lengthen the hole, not mm -hmm. widen the hole. Oh, yeah, yeah. There you go. I've seen people who they've stuck it this through and then pulled the tape off somehow, uh, which seemed really difficult to do, but they did it. Uh -huh. There's some people out there who do a really nice job with this tape better than I do. You could feed it in from the there other direction. Go. Yeah, there you go. You just may have a little bit yeah. of overlap through there. Mine just wasn't wide enough. Yeah. yeah. Once you do it once or twice, you get the hang of it. There it's pretty go. simple. And then just latch it on the other side. Oh. It's latched on there. And then overlap the other couple of pieces still here. The wire from your motor, and mine's not quite in place. There we go. And then the LED, and I'm just going to snip. Snip. Save that extra tape for later. Yay. Now we've got that connection here and here. Yeah. By the way, if anyone has any questions, please post, and we'll, make, we'll make a questions, comment. Questions, comments, Concerns, compliments. People who are like, ugh, you guys again with posting things? <laughs> ugh. News. Don't you have jobs? Like, yes, this uh, is our job. Are the Brewers playing today? Maybe the score keep us up to date. What, are, are baseball games I don't know. Is that yet? happening yet? I'm not sure. It's a time capsule of our frustration. <laughs> no games. And, you know, Milwaukee, if there are no baseball games, the, the peasants revolt. Yeah. But they're, they're good games, the Brewers. Yeah. Ryan Braun, give us a call if you're. Is he still <laughs> playing for the Brewers? I don't know. I'm not sure. Uh, it's been a while since I've gone to a game. Yeah. Anyway, another piece of tape as I'm okay. putting filler in because I'm having a hard time getting the tape off at this moment. So, again, doing the exact same thing again, threading through, uh, through this spot. Just need to get a little bit through so we can I'm, latch on the other I'm side. Gonna I'm going to guess gonna, we're going to see a right angle tape thing Whoa, coming up Pete, soon, you're right? Correct. I like my right angles. I'm you like your right angles, I know. And then just over the top of the tape. Yeah. We're done. Yeah. And then what you want to do is you want to make yourself a, uh, a fold, which you'd use. Uh, actually, I think it's on the template as well. Mm -hmm. uh, really, it's just a piece of paper folded over with tape on the end. Here's another yeah. one from a different project sitting on the table. Um, this is just heavy cardstock, and if, for instance, if it's not thick enough, it's not making enough contact on there, or it's too wide, trim it. We yeah. just overlapped a couple pieces of maker tape there, and this is actually too big for for this project. I think that's the old the old one. Yeah, scissors right there. Well, I don't want to. There we go. Here, here's another one. <laughs> there you go. Literally have like four or five of these sitting at the table. Yeah. And then, yep. Just then you can turn it on and off. It's blinking. Yay. Um, Nice. <laughs> <laughs> Looks like it got squished. It's got, yay. But you just got to, you know, add on all of the, uh, uh, add this on and you're good to go. And then, of course, turn it off. Yeah. And this approach of a pull tab system is really simple for, like, 3D paper crafts, uh, bigger projects where it's easier just to permanently mount the battery as opposed to having, like, mm -hmm. a weird battery holder fold over thing, which is yeah. what we've done a lot just the, the the dog ear over on the corner yeah for and a binder clip to turn things on and off which works really well for cards and flat paper crafts yeah um but for three-dimensional things this works so much easier and yep. even then like you can still peel off the tape off the top of here mm -hmm. and put a new tape roll on the bottom with a new battery and put this tape back on top a couple times and it'll be fine or heck just add another piece of tape right here you yeah. can easily replace this battery but this is a great way to turn it on and off like really quick and easy without having to go through all the weirdness of peeling this back. Right. Um, but it's yeah, much more elegant way, which is something we can do because we uh, the maker tape is durable, it's strong, and can handle that on and off pressure fit. Yeah. Um, that copper foil would not be able to do that. No. Oh my gosh, I'd be here for days working with <laughs> copper foil. Well, that's it. That's the project. This is actually a, one of like several of this shaped things that uh, Andy, our curriculum writer, put together. Well, bored. I think around Christmas time last year, <laughs> um, we've got a couple other like Christmas themed ones, like a candy one and like a candy mm -hmm. cane. But if you want to take this basic idea and really anything that's kind of flat or puck shaped, you can do like an NFL hockey puck. 
Oh, NFL, no, we're sorry. No. We're not going to do it. We're not going to do that. We're, we're just saying if you want to, other people, they're, they're more. It like, could just be a, f- a football thing, not a. doesn't have to be a. Right? Oh, shoot. NHL. Hockey League. Oh. My gosh. Hockey. <laughs> like, hockey. You could do a hockey thing. It's hockey puck. It's puck shape, not football. Gosh. Yeah, no. It's Wednesday. Wednesday! Right. Hey, all right. We're going to be doing this every day of the week. It's Thursday! Uh, <laughs> Start messing with people. It's Thursday. Like, wait, I thought it was Tuesday. Depends what day they watch it, I guess, too. Oh, true. That might confuse there's, there's them. There's sometimes a major time delay. Where we are, it's Wednesday. If you're in Japan, it'd be what, Thursday. Maybe. I guess we, we'd be. Depends what day they watch it. It's true. All right. But anyway, it's this shape can be applied to lots of different things. You could be able to do a box version of this. It's basically mm-hmm. like really make a football, make a box. Um, with this, yeah, basic design is pretty, pretty straightforward. And there's lots of ways of doing um, three-dimensional shape with tabs. Uh, but this, yeah, the simple approach with a blinking LED and a vibrating motor looks nice. It's it's fun. Like 10 minutes, maybe 15 minutes of work. Mm-hmm. I'd say add some coloring into it if you're doing this with children. Yeah. Uh, but it's it's a pretty straightforward craft project. And that's why we have the templates on our website. So um, as always, browndoggadgets.com to do. Uh, if you want any more of that information, we're uh, we're live streaming tomorrow with Helen. Uh, she's coming in uh, from Berlin to chat yeah. with us. Berlin, so um, she can make sure she knows what time. The time zones are confusing. It's 9:45 her time in the evening. It's 2:45 okay. our time. Okay. Uh, but she she's you know uh, staying up late or whatever. It's Berlin. They're probably cool. doing fun things there at all times, <laughs> even now. Uh, but uh, she's going to come and talk with some crafts who've done, written several books on maker stuff. Yeah. Um, done a lot of writing and curriculum, and she's, uh, yeah, um, going to be speaking in English, not German, if anybody's wondering. Um, <laughs> yes. Yes, she, she's, she's Welsh, I found out today. Well. Oh, I didn't know that. Uh, I, I, I know she's been playing the banjo for 18 months. Well, when you're in Berlin, you got to learn to play the banjo. <laughs> I mean, that's that's just a rule, right? I don't know if it is. So Steve Martin plays banjo, so I spent like you know a year in, in Berlin. He's like, gotta learn the banjo. Know. Didn't know that. Yeah. Uh, all right. <laughs> well, you know what? We're People done. can find us Brown Dog Edge. all over the place. Please like us. Please follow us. I yeah. Mean, we post fun helps. stuff. You can just ignore us most of the time. But we do post fun <laughs> projects and updates to cool things we're working on, new projects yeah. and ideas and crazy things. So we're here for you. We're here to provide you with. Yes, we're still here. Yeah, we're still here. Thank so, you. Thanks a bunch, everybody, thanks for watching. To you. Take care and. Uh, All yeah, right. Happy Roll in those credits. Credits. Thanks for watching. Please visit browndoggadgets.com for parts, projects, and curriculum. Follow us on social media at Brown Dog Gadgets. Check out our live streams at Facebook, YouTube, and Twitch. We'll see you next time.